Yo guys, welcome back to the Screen Talk YouTube channel. I'm here with the team, I'm here with Ads, I'm here with Kit, I'm here with Timmy, and today we're looking at something different. We're looking at movie hot takes. A couple weeks ago we asked on Twitter, we asked, what's your movie hot takes? What what takes do you do you keep to yourself but you're ready to unleash now? And today we're gonna see if we can agree with some, uh, see which ones we can see where they were coming from, uh, see which ones we just flower disagree with. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna go over to ads, ads got the list. Let's get to our first hot take, man. Let's get straight into it. Guardians of the Galaxy is elite. Oh, Guardians that's not a hot take, though. I don't think that's a hot oh, take. Two, look, the thing is, yeah, I've recently no, changed my opinion I... on Guardians of the Galaxy 2. It's not bad. It's I. It's, it's fine. It's, 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 it's look, in this day and age of MCU projects, it's up there. It, w- it would be the best film to come out in this phase. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Whoa. Oh, sorry, sorry. That's a crazy, that was a crazy take. But it wouldn't That's be a bad film. Oh. Yeah, obviously, it wouldn't be bad. So right. Right. Rewind that. But it would be one of the better films that came out this phase. Yeah. yeah, it would be one of the better films that came out this phase. In any phase. I don't really think that's a hot take, though. Because there's better people that like that. I don't think it's a hot take, yeah. but... It's not, it's not I think it does get a lot of criticism, though. It does, though. It's the weakest out of the trilogy. I think it's the weakest out of the trilogy, yeah, but... It's definitely the weakest. But I think it suffers from the success from the first film. I think when it first came out, the reactions were very, like, lukewarm. A lot of people weren't really feeling it. And... I think it's because like there wasn't a lot of progression during that. Like it was, it was basic six months after the first film. Like maybe if we saw them a couple of years down the line, it would have been a bit better. But it still seemed like kind of fresh. Um, but it's definitely the weakest, weakest villain as well. Mm. Yeah, I mean it's fine. I don't really think it's a hot take to be honest. But... Yeah, not a bad one to start with. Mm. Not a bad one. The next one comes from a person who's in this video right now. Far from home isn't as bad as people make it out. Oh, 100%. Yes. I don't think it's bad. I mean, I've never read the film like that, but I just don't think it's... I just don't think it's the dumb stuff like people try and make it out. I just think it's fine. Bro, it's close. Yeah, slander that film gets so unnecessary, man. I'll be honest. It was unnecessary. It's, but I'll be honest, it is because of the... It's because of the... What's it called? The, 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 the Iron Man connection. Yeah, I was gonna if say it's not an Iron Man, Man villain, people would view that film so much better. But it just it was just victim to an agenda because obviously Mysterio was a, basically an Iron Man villain that Spider Man inherited again. Even though he is yeah. traditionally a Spider Man villain, but I think it's just called exactly. the connection. But yeah, me, yeah, outside of that, yeah. I mean, I just think I don't think it's great. I just think it's fine. I just don't think it's the worst. Like this dumpster fight that everyone trying to make out. But yeah, yeah. so because anything. That, I see about four from home. Eight times out of ten, it's getting slammed off. So, yeah. yeah. But yeah, I just don't think it's that bad. I think it's good. I think it ended really well. It left like a really good opening. I didn't know. I didn't know what No Way Home was gonna be like when I finished Far From Home. Like I thought it was, like, that was a really good end. Morgan was not as good, and is the most overrated CBM ever. It's so boring. Agree. Ah, uh, that's a dragon. It's a dragon. It's a dragon. It's a dragon. It's, it's, dragon. it's, it's dragon. definitely it's up there. there. It's a really good film, though. Yeah, it is, but I just think it's like really. I just think it's overrated. I don't think it's crap. But I just think it's really overrated. Like, I don't think it's like top three or five comic book movies. I think it's top ten, but I just don't. It's I'm not top ten. It, yeah. But I think it's just because I didn't. I haven't really like messed with Hugh Jackman's Wolverine. I mean, I like him, but I never kind of like really? loved him. I just wow. thought he, I thought he did a good job. So maybe that's why I don't have the connection to the film that other people do. That's why I think it's overrated. But Even if you don't connect with the job, you're like it's still. You can still recognize as like a good goodbye film. Of course, it's yeah. a great goodbye film for the character for someone who's played the character for like twenty years. Yeah, it is he a tried. great ending to the story. Yeah, he tried. <laughs> he tried. He tried. <laughs> he tried. I, think a I do think it, people do go a bit over like bored. I think it's it because it's a good comparison. film. It's a good film. I don't know if I would call it one of the best CBMs. Like it's, it's not on like Dark Knight the Batman level. Or it's not. On, it's not on Dark Knight level for me anyway. I would probably it's be happy with Dark Knight. Okay. I would okay. have okay. Over films like the like the Batman, okay. like Infinity Wars. I wouldn't have anywhere close to there, but. Yeah, like it's it's a very good film, but I just think it's a bit overrated. I think that and Man of Steel, those are kind of like the ones that I find like really overrated. I mean, but yeah, Man, I, yeah, Man I agree with the take. But... Hey, I agree. It's a good, it's a great film though. It's great, it's but I just don't think it's elite. Cool. The next one is coming from another person in this video. To me. No, you keep getting it wrong every single Maybe. time. It's, it's coming from you. Okay. Shazam 2 is better than the first one. 
And that yeah. is a crazy. <laughs> no, that's the crazy. first, one, the, the yeah. first one is clear. The first yeah. one is insane. Was the second was. Yeah. That's insane. I, I don't like you even watch the second one, but the second was. The, the second was clear. And I don't like using hyperbole. I feel like the first one, yeah, is is a is a, is is good. I don't know if I really messed with Zachary Levi's performances, even from the no, first one. No. He's not really the Shazam I grew up. I grew up with like from like even Young Justice. I think he's a bit. He's a bit weird. Well, Shazam always but, a comedic um, character. He's only comedic because he's a young boy in a man's body. He's never really been funny yeah. though, huh. as I've known yeah. him. Oh, yeah. he's funny because he's childish, you know. But um, obviously they aged him. They aged up Billy a bit. Um, so obviously he's talking more like a teenager more than a kid if anything mm-hmm. um, so that makes a bit more sense but um, what was the that, take um, again? The Sham Sham is Sham Sham oh no so called, the first one is better okay. I think, what? Nah, it, what? I think the second place? one tried to do what the first one did but it just did it worse yeah. and I just found it it was just boring I re- it felt it's I re- great the villains in both of the films I don't like the villains in both of the they're films both, they're both not they're both great whack. yeah um, well, Horrible. The next hot take is the MCU died with Endgame. Nah. I'm not going to get into this. I really do. I can really talk and I really don't want to get into it. Really it's, 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 it's a cop out thing. That's what I'm going to say. I'm not going to. Because if I start, I'm not going to say. I'll be real. I don't know what it is. I just think it's, it's just a cop out slander. Like, let me pose a question then. Let me pose a question. If someone stopped watching MCU projects after Endgame, would they have missed out? Do you feel like, would you say that person's missed out? No, re- maybe not, but I don't think that really... You know, it, I feel like it depends you on died, the person. Though? That is such a wide... Because there's, start, there's certain done. projects which have been good and there's certain projects that have been bad. It's been a basically 50... Mm, That's what I'm saying. 40. The died thing is there's just been, too really broad. Good there's been really good projects. Guardians of Galaxy 3 is in my top five. So there's top five projects that have dropped. You know, what kind of forever? I wouldn't be surprised if that was in someone's top five, even though we're home to an extent. I wouldn't be surprised if that's in someone's top five. Mm-hmm. Um, or even, let's say, Wonder Stands. They love Wonder Vision. You know, that came out after Endgame. Um, I see a lot of Wonder Vision love. In Loki love on yeah. the TR. Uh, but it was, in a, well. it was in like a sea of mid, though. Like, this watching experience is like, I have had to. People make tweets about this all the time, and they're obviously they're doing too much, but it's like, to be fully locked in, I did have to watch a lot of. Ask TV shows. Like, they have to sit through some ass films. Oh, yeah, of course. But I think the whole died concept is such a broad thing. Like, what do you mean by, like, died? Does that just mean... Because it could just mean every single project after was just was just not worth it. So, I think it's, just, it's just... a That's what I mean. It's just a generic cop-out thing. Like, I don't understand what you mean by died. There are aspects of the whole thing that's kind of, like, dwindled a bit. I'm not going to deny it. It has... But the whole died thing is just too... So that's why I usually just don't pay attention. I'm just like, okay, cool. Like, if it died for you, then cool. Because it's just like a general, like, okay, the MC died off thing. It's like, okay, it's just, it's just, it's too broad for me. But I mean, you see the own in it. But that's what I would say. The reason why people say it died is because obviously after Endgame, obviously that was a major cinematic event. Everybody got bought in to, you know, do, you know, that movie. And then I think that brought in like a lot of new fans to like the franchise and whatnot. So it's like, okay, cool. After Endgame, where do you go from here? Do you get, you got to now like continue to appeal to the fans, yada, yada, yada. And obviously now, what's the best way to do it in, you know, multiverse or event or whatnot? And I think, I think Marvel were brave to try and do this first because now you've got like all these other media trying to do multiverse and some are handling it way better, but I feel like Marvel taking that first step was... At the, at the same time as important, also kind of unnecessary too. But hey, they're leading up to Secret Wars. So I'm, I mean, that's that's my thing. That's my thing. Yeah. That's my thing. It didn't have to be for. Exactly, exactly. That was my thing. Yeah. That was my thing. I I do I do think that the fans itself are expecting a lot where. Like the people who are making the MCU are deeper. Look, we can't go bigger than Endgame. The only way we can go bigger than Endgame is to drop everything back down to the surface level, phase one, to build it back up. Because you can't go from Endgame to what's next? 
You can't. What's bigger than Endgame? That's that's ten years you. worth of but story. Then, story they put a new generation. They've done it wrong then. Yeah, the, the whole, yeah. yeah they, everything obviously hasn't been executed well. Obviously, yeah. like yeah, like, COVID affected them. Yeah, but, when I looked at the projects that were coming to be made, I never thought, yeah, these are going to be mid. The Marvel's going to struggle with these projects and their ideas. Yeah. Like, it's fine. Like a She-Hulk show is a fine idea. It's, it's just the execution that's been. The execution, execution was execution wrong. Uh, yeah. The execution was wrong. Like a lot of people, I feel like a lot of people say the Endgame was done or like MC died after Endgame because. They're not going to see Iron Man no more. They're not going to see Captain. Yeah, America that's what I'm no saying. More. A lot of people's and, favorites have kind of like exactly, left. So it's yeah, like who's who's yeah. really left. So the favorites haven't been done well. A lot of people's favorites were Thor, but no one's really messing with Thor no more. Hulk. People thought, okay, well, after Endgame, Hulk's going to be a bit different. He's going to go back to normal. No, he's still Professor Hulk and stuff like that. Um, and just like, yeah, again, because it hasn't been executed well, the new generation are are here, and it's. So not yeah. I mean, if in, this, in terms of the whole dad thing, like if it's dad for you, like it's kind of you've gone off the board, and that's corny. That's your opinion. I'm not gonna try and like make you make you change or not, but I just feel in terms of like using it as a sweeping statement, it's just too, it's too broad or something. It's like me, and it's, I know it's like Star Wars is doing, but it's me like saying that after I don't know the previews of that Star Wars is like dry. I mean, Star Wars, they still put out some decent stuff. They put out amazing stuff. And a similar, so but because all. All I say is that it just takes one good project to kind of get people on. But like after I don't know, Ant Man, um, Ant Man three was like, oh, them the the Guardians came out, like, oh, them now a secret vision, like everything. Da, da, da. Who knows if Loki's great, the Marvels by some chance is great. They're like, oh, okay, this thing, and then Echo comes out, like, oh, them. So it's it's always just gonna change depending on what comes. So that's why most of the time I just kind of like leave it. Like it's your opinion at the end of the day. So next one is I know he's done many projects, but. I, Aaron Taylor Johnson should do more CBMs. He's got the, he's got the build. I didn't see that's a hot take. He's that's that's, that's just oh. a that's personal he, 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 oh, I specifically him. He's got the build for it. What what what? I, I, I I think, what makes the I hot think, take? You know, I think it's from I think it's Bullet Train in it has upped his. Okay, but, uh, he has coming out, but so it's just a personal oh, preference. Probably. But I'll be honest. If we're looking at all the kind of not CBM but CBM like projects he's done. Kick-Ass 2 wasn't Craven. good. Kick-Ass 2 wasn't good. No, he, Kraven, he kind of got done dirty with Quicksilver, but then we got Craven coming out soon. Craven's, Craven's not going to be good. Let's be honest, it's not, yeah. not going to be good. I don't know what Sony it, 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 Morbius, I would claim it as a hit. If it's better than Morbius, I would claim it as a hit, but I don't think yeah. it's even going to be better than Morbius. So, I don't understand what he's shown that he needs to be in more CBMs. He's yeah, I don't think it's a really hot like, take. Yeah. Just, maybe it's just a personal preference. So, yeah, yeah I don't really feel it's a hot take. If you want to see me comment, then fair enough. That person was just horny. That person, whoever said that was just horny. Pause. Yeah, it's a enough. guy. <laughs> 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 yeah, sure. It still stands. Yeah. Hugh Jackman is not a good Wolverine. No, that's a that's, drag, though. You know what? Do 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 you know what? Here's my thing. Here's my thing about this, right? I don't think we could really, really say that because we haven't really seen anyone else in the role. We haven't literally seen anyone. No, we can still say it, though. No, we can still but, say it. But how, can, but how like, can you say... Like, shows the but how, but how can you say, like, he's he's not a good Wolverine if you don't have anyone Is this in comparison to the, his comic, what he is in the comic? If it's a comparison if he is, then fair enough, I can see why. It's just a blank statement. It's just a blank statement. It's like, think, think of it like the Batman conversations. Who's the better Batman? Bill or Affleck or, um, what do you call it, Patterson? Even you know what I mean? Conversations, we always talk about how, how comic accurate is, is, is Affleck. That's what, people always yeah, say sure. People always say it, but he doesn't use guns, so him using guns takes away from his character. Okay, you but know, I think if they're saying in terms of Wolverine, in the comics, then I can maybe see what in terms of the high But even so, then like um, comparing it to comics is a bit yeah, wild as well because though. you're literally comparing drawings to live action. How do you know which one is better? Well, we've, got anime, we've got animated shows too, though. Comparing to comics. It's the comics. Like, so yeah, the comics being played. Is he capturing yeah. the spirit of Wolverine in his portrayal? Yes, true. Because Wolverine kind of gives us like short man energy, you know, like the kind of thing. And he doesn't. No, it's true. If you watch the shows, now he's got that kind of like. What's it called? I don't want to compare it to like Lissandra Martinez, isn't it? That's uh, kind of like very like short. That's on that five foot four on it. Right, and Hugh Jackman. Oh, you know what I'm talking Martinez. about, like. 
And I, I don't really like mess with like Hugh like that. But I think I'll just say I think he's done well with what he's been given. Because I mean the X-Men films, they're not kind of great. He he did well with what he could. That's what I'm giving. He's shown in them films. He's shown them. I mean, yeah. unless you're so comparing it to like the, the cartoons or something like X-Men 97 or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, no, I can understand that. But in terms of like standalone, yeah. I think he's done T Yeah, exactly. I'll he's done really well. Um the next two are just Batman theme. So I'm just gonna okay. read them back to back. Bell's Batman is ass. Soul Ass and the Villains carried, carried the trilogy. The next one is Batfleck is shit. He only got gassed up. Cap. Cap. <laughs> he didn't even like it was the end of the Best second one, or was that it? <laughs> Contrarians. Cap, 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 cap. Yeah. Let's not even entertain that one. Um, is it a hot take? That's a real question. I can't lie, Blackfleck is ass. I don't know. Batman, I could not care for that. I don't think Bale's Batman was good. I've always said it's Bruce Wayne is very Bale's good. Batman, I just think that's also just. Mm. I just you think his villains. choreography. And I just he didn't feel intimidating. Like compared to like Pattinson or like Pattinson when he comes out in the station when he beats up all like that's like in the fit when I was watching I was like okay this feels like if I saw this Batman like, I'd be sure. But with yeah. Bill, it's just kind of like he was too like wishy, like washy. It's a bit campy. It's a bit campy. Yeah, that's it. It just came off as a bit. That's with the first Avengers too, it's a bit too campy for me. Yeah, but in terms of like the whole intimidating yeah, fact of um, Batman of Bill, I can see why. I've always said his Bruce Wayne is like he's very, very good. I'm not gonna deny that, but I do think his Batman just left a bit to be designed. What was the thing about um, Ben Affleck's one? What was um, that? Too? Um, yeah, was that it? Just. That yeah. Yeah, people just get up to be different. I mean, there's it's aspects of him that I like, but I don't. I don't think he's bad. But just, he's he's all right. I don't think he's. Bad. Yeah, there's aspects. I would have loved to see him in his own film with. Actually yeah, I think he, he got shafted. He, he got did get shafted, shafted, but he was like, I don't think any actor could have saved you know those films. How you know? Because no own film on never he was really weird. And stuff like that. But there were some good ideas with his character that I did like, and I did like his portrayal again with what he had. Um, and the thing is, you can tell with freak films like the Batman that they will age well. Obviously, I'm, I'm saying this without actually experiencing the years, but the Batman will age well. The Dark Knight oh, yeah. trilogy, a lot of the things in there, they just don't age well. You know, if I, if I was giving it to a first time watching now, they'd be like, "This looks a bit funny." Yeah. Just a little bit, nothing too crazy. Yeah. I don't. Yeah, I think I don't. I don't really think they're hot takes. I think they're just things people have been saying for a while. But I do agree with them to an extent. But yeah, um, Jachala wasn't that guy. Killmonger was a b- much better character, and he was overthrown by an apparent good guy. No, I think he's. I think Killmonger's one of the most overrated characters in Marvel. Yeah, hundred, hundred, disgustingly. Over- and I like Michael G. B. Jordan's performance, but I think he's so overrated. So um, over it, and I think the whole thing about T'Challa being better in Civil War than Black Panther. I think I, I can see why people think, but I think in Black Panther he has to kind of play a more kind of like regal person. Like in Civil War, people I think maybe I'm wrong, but I think a lot of people like him because it was just kind of like like he was just on vengeance yeah. because his dad just died. But I think Black Panther was different because he'd obviously be maybe like two years or worse since Civil War. He's now kind of resuming the role of king, so he had to like play a more like diplomatic kind of character in the sense. But if people yeah. prefer him in Silver, I can completely understand that's right. But I think the whole Killmonger, I think it's just like nonsense. I'm sorry, so I think it's so over- overrated. It's so overrated. So, so overrated. Villain tax. Villain tax. I'm telling you. And black Americans as well. Sorry, American orders, man. African American. No, man. You might gas out to the heavens. <laughs> he was fine. You can cover your face, it's fine. I'll take the heat, it's fine. <laughs> he's he's Killmonger, is it? he's so overrated. I, I, I agree. So, I'm so not overrated. I'm with you, I'll be honest. I'm That's, it it's is. only one liners. That one liner he did at the end, like, bury me in the ocean, like my ancestors, and stuff like that. That's what gassed into so many people. That's like, what one of them over. I'm not even trying to slight Michael B. Jordan because it's not his fault. It's just like the fans and everything. I just think it's very overrated. Yeah, but I I like, a lot of the things he said made no sense. Like Exactly. He was kind of hypocritical. Yeah, he action, so. and even though he was real like that like him him, he, he just had so many things that were just conflicting that just didn't really make any sense like 
Like he wanted to Wakanda or something to kind of open to the one or something, but like you're still murdering. Yeah, and you'll just murder people for murders. the reason. <laughs> <laughs> you murder people. Exactly. Yeah, that's where he his black girlfriend, like. Words. How much of a black revolutionary are you, like? He said he wanted to spread resources, then he burnt up the whole flipping earth. Yeah. Like, yeah. like, bro, <laughs> like, what are you doing? <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, so I just think there's a lot of just a position. So oh. yeah, I do agree with that take. I think he's, I think he's one of the most overrated black characters in Marvel in a sense, in the MCU. Sorry, not Marvel. Yeah. I agree. The next take is Andrew Garfield Spider Man is better than Tom Holland Spider Man. Absolutely, no, no question, no. no question. It's not though. No question. It's not There's though. No question. It's not. In some aspects, I do think he he is he is better. He embodies the character but of Spider Man. Are we just talking about him as just him as Spider Man? It's just. Andrew Garfield Spider-Man. Okay, so I'm just guessing they're talking the way about the portrayal of the character. The way you can this in a way... No, I don't think it's talking about movie quality because they would have said movie. I just think it's just him yeah. as Spider-Man. I think he has some of like, the mannerisms like when he's acting as Spider-Man, I do. Yeah. But I think some people, they may disagree, but I just think he was too kind of cool to an extent i don't i think I people get, get, get still quite time but I, I think there's times where he needs to kind of be like more kind of like awkward and nervous which i think tom holland kind of gets <laughs> yeah exactly so tom holland, yeah i can see why he's seen as a nerd in his universe but he's also cool he's also very likable i would want to be his friend the andrew yeah. Garfield and it's like he seems like he's a loner out of personal choice. He just doesn't like having friends. You know, it's not like he struggles to make friends, do his interests. He just doesn't yeah. like people. He just seems like he doesn't like people. Like and his own thing's going to lose to as well. Exactly. And I feel like, like even yeah. man, he's so vindictive. Like, he's mad cruel. He's, he's torturing people. Like, he's probably torturing people. I feel like someone is Spider Man. Again, the only criticisms that he gets are mostly his films. In terms of portrayal, I think he does it to like a property. But yeah. he just has a lot of Spider-Man scenes where he's not like on a mission, where he's just like doing it, like going around, where Andrew Garfield has more. So I feel like yeah. people use that, um, to try and discredit Tom Holland. But again, that's just writing though. But I think that's the shared <laughs> universe thing, which I think yeah. it has its benefit. But if it's a shared universe, there are times he's going to kind of cross over. I mean, it happens in the comics. There are things like... So I think maybe that's something, hopefully, in the Spider-Man 4 for one that they kind of like do... Have the feel yeah. of like the kind of Garfield and yeah. Maguire films where just yeah. kind of like just him, just him exactly. exactly. But yeah, I can see why people would think Garfield is bad. I think there are some things he does better and vice versa. But yeah, I mean, it's just one of the personal choices to me. But. Next one is coming from Timmy himself. I already know oh, what it is. The political, the political side of the MCU is better than any anything else they've done. No. What do you mean? <laughs> With Secret Invasion here, yeah, I was gonna say that, but if Secret Invasion is slapped, then I would have said. I mean, I don't hate the show, but I think it was under. It was but if oh, you're talking about the political, like all, everything included, everything, yeah, everything. Black, Black Widows, Captain America, all of that, like, bro, Black Widows, are, yeah. Black Widow accounts. But to I mean, honest, Black Widows, you don't really Black Widow for the, the concept films. that it was cool. The execution, maybe not so much. But if you look at all the Captain America films, brilliant. Fuck, what's really soldiers? political in MCU, though? Bar the Captain America, well, that's pretty much it. Civil War is quite political, because obviously they talk oh, about... Oh, yeah, that's Captain yeah. America film. Yeah, so I'll probably say, Winter Soldier's not really political, though. Isn't it more about Hydra and S.H.I.E.L.D.? No, it's technically it's politics. Is it, if, it, if that counts as politics, then calm. But I don't it's know just that... Winter Soldier and Civil War that were actually good. All the other ones are kind of like... Yeah, yeah. yeah but you, 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 can, you can see what... You can Wait, see did you say it's better than the Cosmic side? I personally do. Better than everything. You said everything. I think the Cosmic sides are stronger. Like, if you count the Avenger films, the Guardians of the Galaxy, I think they're, they're mm-hmm. stronger films. Yeah, but isn't that just being carried by... And the Cap- shows Cap- as well. Just look at if, if yeah, Infinity War and Endgame. That just carries them both alone. Okay. If Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. counts as the political side, then I'll take the political side. But that's not MCU, though. It's MCU. unfortunate. It's really unfortunate. It's really unfortunate. I, I think, think the cosmic yeah. side is because I just think they've just been more consistent with them. Like the and shows and yeah. food movies, they're all around the same. Like you have your low keys in the shows. Surely. Um, what's one, what's nah, I was gonna say supernatural. Low keys is, what, is okay. Low, like? Supernatural's come that? like supernatural. That's worlds that like? by what? night in that. Oh, that's Doctor yeah, Strange. I forgot about Worlds by Night. Midnight. Midnight. I, I think mean, that's how it's side the weakest, you know. I think mean, that's how it's side the weakest. I just think they haven't explored it much. Yeah, it's under the I don't think they're really crap. Yeah. I don't yeah, think they're bad, but, but there's just not enough of them. 
It's magic in the MCU. It should slightly be better than what it is. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of it is quite... Yeah. yeah. Quite conf- yeah. Like confusing as well. But I mean, it's it's a f- it's fair if you think the they have a formula. So I just think the cosmic size they just is gonna be sensational. I think there's a lot riding <laughs> riding be, on it now. Yeah, yeah. I think if Secret Invasion has slaps, then it would have the pressure would have been a, a little yeah. bit. But I think I hope it's good. From what I'm hearing, it sounds good. But then hearing it is one thing seen. But I I do hope it is good. I think the premise they've yeah. got there. End game doesn't make any sense, and you're required a whole lot of forcing yourself to be blind to silliness to actually enjoy it. I wouldn't say that. Mm. That's, a fun, that's, a funny thing. that's a funny thing. That's a funny thing. That's a funny thing. I don't agree though. I just think it's very long winded. They didn't have to do it in um, the way that the, they did. The whole concept of time travel, if you break it down, it's, it's a bit crazy. It is quite yeah, crazy. But time travel in every different movie is yeah, always, always yeah, explained. So it depends on I just how that the Marvel didn't set up. The Ant Man in the first one, they talk about how that little universe they go into, there's like time portals. Yeah, like I that. think they it was the first time they actually. Yeah, it wasn't really set up. Yeah. But yeah, I've, the take. Yeah, I don't yeah. think it's a hot take because a lot of people do say like the first part of Endgame is kind of a bit. It's just kind of like the final. Oh, to, second, to the second act is a really drag. Yeah. So the the it's just, just callbacks. That's it. Yeah. I don't really yeah. think it's a hot take. I think it's what yeah. a lot of people have said, but. I wouldn't yeah. say it doesn't make sense, though. I wouldn't say it doesn't make sense because I feel like that's a bit far. I'm it, sure it, there's it, some it, kind it, of like it, cheap post caveats in there, but. 100%. But. It's a time travel system that, you know, they didn't have to sacrifice people and it was more so like a device for... Yeah, pretty much. It's just basically yeah, a plot yeah. device. So. It's a time travel movie. It's an Avengers movie that had time travel in it, so... Yeah, sure. I wouldn't oh, look yeah. too much on it. Hey, guys, that was our breakdown of the hot takes um, of our Twitter community. Some hot takes in there, some absolutely crazy things in there. I remember that backflip comment. Um, I'd send me that tweet after. Let me just try and do with that person. <laughs> but, yeah, we're done now, guys. Um, we're going to be doing some tweets like this, so stay tuned and, you know, it might get into a video. So, peace out. Stay healthy. Keep speaking talking. <laughs> <laughs>